Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how to link a Docker container from another Docker container. In this demo, I am going to show you two microservices that is developed by using the Spring Boot and the Builder Gradle file. Okay. So the, those two microservices, one is the order service and another one is the tracking service. Once the order service is uh, completed, I mean the order is placed, we need to send the tracking ID. So whoever calling that API. Okay, so those two microservices are already running in my local machine. Now I'm going to create a Docker images for the two Docker, I mean two Spring Boot microservices, and I'm going to link that Docker container. Okay, so this is the builder Gradle file for the order services Spring Boot starter web dependency I added, and then the build Docker task is uh, added here. Okay, so for creating a build docker for Spring Boot microservices application, I already uploaded that video. That video link is given in the video description. So please look at that dependency and plugin everything I added in the builder Gradle file. And then this is the main Spring Boot application class file. Here I added that REST controller annotation. This is the order. Okay. So this is submit order. Once order is submitted successfully, Okay, we need to send the tracking ID. So that tracking ID we need, we are getting from the another one microservices that is running on the different port. Okay, so that tracking ID we need to send. So look at here. Uh, this is the tracking service microservice. Okay, in the, uh, this is also a simple Spring Boot application. I added the Spring Boot shorter web dependency. And then I added the build Docker task to create a Docker images and everything. Okay. So here also I added the Docker plugin and Docker dependency everything. Okay, so already this application is running in my local machine. I did not create Docker images yet. Okay, so this is the main Spring Boot application of the tracking service. Here also I added the at rest controller annotation and then I written the request mapping API that slash tracks. It returns the unique uh, secure random UID like uh, it's a tracking ID like this okay so look at here the tracking service is ra already running in my machine and also the order service is also running in my local machine I did not yet created the docker images okay so look at here in the web browser I am hitting the URL slash tracks it returns the secure random UID okay it's a unique secure random UID so tracking service is working fine and then we need to call the order API so once the order is placed we need to call the tracking microservices API and then it it will return the tracking ID okay so this is the order service API this order service has the request body name and quantity in this example I did not add the request bo uh, request body annotation so you will get null in the log file I printed the order object as a two string but whoever using the real time so they can uh, use this uh, request body by using adding the at request body annotation okay so click the send button so look at here order is placed and you can track your order status by using this tracking ID so this is the tracking ID this tracking ID is we are getting from the tracking service okay I am calling the tracking service API by using the rest template object so it returns the API it returns the tracking ID now I am going to build a docker image up for tracking service and as well as the order service okay so already I added the build docker task in the builder riddle file so to create a build docker image for your Spring Boot microservices, I already uploaded the video. That video link is given in the video description. Please look at that video and then come to this video so you uh, you can understand uh, for uh, while creating a docker images. Okay, so the order service docker images is also created, build successful. Now, if you type the command docker images, you can see the list of docker images order services and tracking services are running now okay so you cannot uh, communicate one container to another container by using the local host or some other api they are both are running on different ip and different uh, container 
okay so we need to link that so here instead of localhost i am going to use that tracking service this tracking service is the uh, container name i am going to use okay so again i am taking a build of this order service application because we did the change in the java code instead of the localhost we are calling the tracking service the tracking service is the container name so while we are running the docker image while we are running the docker container we need to specify the docker uh, container name that docker container by using the docker container name we are going to communicate or we are going to link from one docker container to another docker container okay so build is successful now you can see the order services and tracking services images so that one of the images uh, i am deleting the unknown image okay so right now order service and tracking service docker images are there now i am going to run the docker image for tracking service it's running on the 9090 port and then this is the name of the tracking service and then this is the image uh, repository and tag name okay so now the tracking services is running now so docker execute the docker ps command you can see the tracking service uh, is running next we need to run the order service so instead of tracking service i am going to use the order service i just changing the image name and then the container name everything so instead of tracking service order service and then we need to change the port number 8080 the tracking service i expose the port 9090 here i expose the port 8080 okay this is the command docker run command port name order service and then the image name in between we need to add iphone iphone link equal to tracking service so we need to link one container order service container is linking to the tracking service container okay so by using the argument iphone iphone link equal to the container name so you need to specify the container name to link so that you can communicate the tracking service by using the order service uh, container so if you execute the docker ps command uh, order service and tracking services are running now so execute, uh, you can if you want to see the logs you can execute the command docker log siphon c of order service so localhost 9090 the tracking id is retaining so we don't need to send the request body because i did not add the request body annotation if you click the send button you can receive the tracking id here so look at the tracking id is received from the tracking id service so this is the headers no need of authorization and then this is the body the body we used uh, json okay empty json order is placed and you can track the id by using this tracking id so here i use the tracking service okay so this is the command to link one container to another container when you are running the docker container you have to specify the another docker container command by using the link thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel to get more video less thank you